Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, got it. I don't know why it feels so awkward to do it because we've been friends forever and it's not awkward, but it just feels awkward. Would okay. you like Would you like me to do the intro for you? Uh, I, I, I'll give you like like you know what you, what what you looking for? <laughs> are you Are you looking for? Hello there, YouTube. This is Rashid joining you guys on the fantastic Trey Slaps YouTube channel. No, it's not. <laughs> I need him. Uh, okay, okay, I, I got. It. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're checking out Tom McDonald, Dear Rappers. Now, as y'all know. I've already listened to this song. I made a video on it, a reaction to it. Uh, if you want to just see my first initial reaction to it, that's that. But this time, we're doing something a little different. Um, this is my friend, Rashid. Uh, he is... Uh, I was telling him about Tom McDonald, and I was telling him how fun it was to do reactions, and I was like, you know what? Why don't we just set it up where we uh, we do one together? So uh, if... You want to listen to, or you want to tell them what kind of rap you normally listen to, or what's your yeah, dog, yeah, man. Hey, so hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Rashid. Um, a lot, lot of folks, you know, Trevor calls me Tactics, uh, but yeah. other people call me Ra Alo. Um, and oftentimes, the type of rap music that I listen to, we got, of course, our modern day, you know, like hip hop, you got old school 80s and 90s rap so obviously stuff like slick rick uh wu tang but as well as you know i thoroughly enjoy uh christian rap as well so listening to groups like you know god over money so you know like bizzle as well as like hog mob uh which is you know it's crazy seven, not to interrupt seven, you crap. but some, somebody uh told me to listen to bizzle i've never heard of bizzle but somebody Damn. told me to some that was one of the suggestions Bro, Bizzle is that <laughs> guy, man. I mean, bro, man, fine print, literally light work, one and two, fantastic. Uh, let's see. Oh my, oh my goodness. The good fight, surrender. Uh oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, he's fine. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, dog. He's fire. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. All right. All right. All right. So first things first, I want to say a few things about Tom McDonald, and I don't want to ruin your exp first time experience, but I just want to say a couple of things that the comments has told me. Okay, first of all, this is the first song that he had that uh, he he had a lot of songs before this, but this was the first one that popped him off, right? Like he he started. Okay, so that right. so that second, he's not he doesn't. I don't think he said. I haven't found listened to it in any of his music. His his the people has been telling me in the comments that he's not necessarily a christian he said in a song i just listened to let me just say this in a song i just listened to he said that he's not religious but he walks with christians that's what he said in the song so he says stuff that's like um uh, it's not necessarily christian but it aligns with the christian values in a way right 100%, so, that, so that's first of all and then uh second of all him and his girlfriend nova they uh they're He's an independent artist. He's got no label. He builds yep. the sets. She records and edits them. And she also helps him write the course. That's love. And let's see. Am I missing anything else to tell you that might make it? No, I don't think so. Okay. That's so uh, I guess we'll just get on, on into it. We've been talking for a few minutes. This has a little bit bigger of an intro just because it's two people. So, yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. And, and uh, I guess whenever you want me to pause, just let just say pause or something. I'll pause. Hundred percent. No. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every. Hold up! Hold up! Hold <laughs> up! Hold up! <laughs> this man already throwing shots. How does man? already looking for blood man <laughs> yo okay I, re I respect it though i respect it though because yeah. obviously you know man in, in the in the rap game the whole the whole focus man since like especially especially like when you when you really look at like even like grandmaster flash and them you know it was all it was always coming up from the bottom man you know it had that it, it had had that had that kind of oomph to where you know nowadays the, these new these new young cats man like 
it, it, it's floss of money, women, like you know, it's dude, 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 it's really dude, unauthentic. Dude, dude, just just wait till you hear more of the, the song. He he's yeah. Rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I By the way, the well, last time I watched this, I didn't really pay attention too hard to I was trying to focus on what he was saying. And right. I just noticed he showed an Eminem. Right, dude. <laughs> like, like literally, literally that, that's, that's the reason I was like, I was, I was like, bro, dude is already throwing shots. <laughs> yeah. Man's is reckless. I love it. I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got Uh, he, uh, one thing to note about that real quick, because I know they're going to say it in the comments. Uh, he, he grew up listening to Eminem. So he's a of legitimate, course. he's a legitimate, he said that obviously as a white rapper, that's like a big inspiration for him. So, of so, course. So, of course, hundred percent. Until I'm out cold, dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess! Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk, listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's it aligns with what you said. You didn't even listen to the song and you knew what he was talking about. But uh Man. But that's that's basically what he's talking about is how hip hop has just became hip -hop. something. Man, hip hop is is re is really in a dangerous state right right now, man. Like just especially as especially as, as, some, as someone who who really who really loves, you know, the craft, man, like I will I will say, you know, and especially, especially like the big you know like the bigger rappers even even ones like kendrick lamar j cole you know like who who like even like even drake you know people who we would consider like to be right now in modern day the the epitome of the rap game some of the some of the songs some of the albums that they have been putting out have been relatively lackluster you know um yeah. like j cole has been doing a better job of being featured on things than actually uh producing his own stuff and and I, and obviously and obviously you know like that's an that's an opinion of, of mine but like just even looking at uh like his other artists like jid who has like continually been proving themselves like you can definitely tell that stark difference from people who are hungry to make it in the game versus people who have made it in the game. Look at Kanye West, you know, like you have, you have a bunch of fantastic up and coming rappers. And I mean, I can, I can truly, I can hundred percent relate to, to what, to what he's saying, man. But hip hop is, is definitely in a, in a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous state yeah. right now. Yeah. See, this is cool. Cause uh, I don't really know nothing about hip hop as you know. Um, I know I, I know a little bit about it, but I don't really know much about it. So it's kind of cool hearing your perspective on it as somebody who has listened to a lot of hip hop. So, I appreciate uh, that. But uh, anyways, also I wanted to say this too. Uh, he in his future he cusses in this video, right? Yeah. And and in the future video after this one, uh, every single one he bleeps out the cuss word. Like he cuts it. Like he doesn't bleep it out, but it's like cut out. So yeah, he done that because. Uh, he won for monetization because you know youtube and then exactly. two and two he uh done it because uh a lot of his fans were uh have kids and all that stuff and that he'd done it for them too that's that's what everybody was telling me so exactly what's the what's what's the point of making music if it, if it can't be reachable to everyone and listenable to everyone yeah yeah and he uh yeah and he and you'll notice too when you listen to him more i think i'm like six or seven songs deep he uh mm. he don't care he don't care at all. He, 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 <laughs> said, he says like like dear rappers is just like the rap scene is just one thing like he had uh, yeah yeah so hundred yeah. percent. Right. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying. Also, let me just say this real quick too, not to keep pausing, but this video is going to be a lot longer than the normal ones. <laughs> I just, just want to throw that out. There. <laughs> I like I like how you add that. In. <laughs> yeah, I just want to throw that out there. The, now that we're ten, at, now that we're like, mm. yeah, now that we're ten minutes in, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. Your music nah, feels kind of like it. you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your <laughs> Dude, I, I love that. Like, what are you saying? Like, you teach me to do all this stuff instead of speaking about something, you know, positive. Exactly. 
Smoke, you teach me to think every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rap exactly. Is the market yeah. and vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Exactly. Dude, dude, when I listened to that the first time, I was like, dude, that's so true. Because all they rap about is like, I mean, there's some people that have actual like content. In their yep. rap, but a lot of the time in, in the songs that I've listened to, like there's a lot of gangbang rap. There's a lot of things that could potentially be dangerous. Oh man, a hundred man, a hundred percent. Like like it's a lot of uh I mean what he just said, like stuff that kid and I think hundred percent. He said he I forgot what song it is, but I listened to it might be this song even, but I listened to some song where he was saying that uh um actually I don't I'm not sure. Like, I'll I'll just play the video, my bad. A full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. Dude, like, see, not, not to pause. I know you've had. <laughs> seen you nah, nah, but, nah, but, dude. You, you good. But yeah, like the, the what there's so much to talk about. That's what I said when I was reacting to this for there's so much to talk about. And then they choose to talk about like, you know, like uh, he says uh, they got diamond teeth. And so I think he said that in the first verse, he was saying rapping about they got diamond teeth. They got Gucci bags. They got money, cars, women. But there's so many topics. And rap is a like hip hop is a genre right. where you can really talk about something because there's so many lyrics you can put in that song hundred percent you know I, I will i will say i will say like once again it, it kind of it comes it kind of comes down to really when you when you when you look at when you look at hip-hop and then especially when you look at like this niche your quote-unquote niche genre of rap and you and you really dissect it into that like now these multitude of bridges that that we have with, within within the genre you'll have you'll have like rappers like Lil baby that you know you know, would release like a, a Black Lives Matter statement or, or, or you, you know, something like that in, in his songs. But at the same time, those songs, like, e like, you know, even though it's a, it's a good song, most of those songs isn't what he's known for, you know, yeah. once again, like, like conscious, conscious rap itself. And, 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 espe and especially like, conscious rap even from you know nwa uh public enemy stuff like stuff like that isn't what resonates with most of the modern day youth now like i'm i'm 20 i'm 25 so you know i i grew i grew up in the in the drill rap era so you know like we grew up around you know the chief keefs the little the, the, the little reese the little dirks you know <laughs> uh heck you know uh fbg duck all, all them <laughs> and the thing is is that when you're when you're asking these rappers to talk about and especially these newer rappers now to talk about things that they know drugs money women you know gang banging uh, literally, like inherited feuds from literally being in the trenches. That's all they know, and that's what's marketable right now. You see, you see plenty of like label executives talk about just how marketable it is to continue to sell what is literal poison back into their communities. So, mm. hundred percent, like he he speak he's speaking he's speaking the truth and. I, and I will say that this statement, and especially when we get on the topic of literally police brutality, when we get on political topics, like no matter what side you're on, we can all really agree that there is a huge underlying problem with the system of things, and we know why it is. Yeah. So, 100%. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, this is fire. I like, <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like listening to this. You like a historian kind of. I like it. <laughs> I'm about to, next time I'm about to get my notepad when we go to listen to something. <laughs> All right, I got all right, you, man. All right, sorry, for, sorry for pausing. I just wanted to hear. I paused really right there because I wanted to hear what you was thinking. <laughs> but I'll let nah, you. No, no, no. I'll let you. Uh, I'll play out the rest of the song. And just tell me when to pause. I don't want to mess up nah, your man. immersion. Nah, you the good. Let's, let's roll. Killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money, and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Exactly. That's like what you just said, kind of. Exactly. I can see, I can see why people like, you know, kind, kind of like this hook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, he he's one of those. Uh, that, that's uh, that's the song basically, but uh, yeah. but yeah, he uh, he's one of those rappers where even if you don't like the delivery of it or like the you music know. or and he produces all his own beats too. By the way, he produces his own beats. He they, he literally does everything. And he has a song. But I just listened to a song called Cancel, and he talks about he's like, you can't cancel me. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> right. Uh, he says he owns the masters, he owns the beats, he owns the cameras and all that. So you can't anyway. But right. he uh he's uh he's fire he uh his his content and his lyrics is usually pretty spot on like he, he kind of like speaks on stuff that everybody else is too scared to honestly like a lot of the times and uh 100 percent. so so that's that's my thoughts on it but what what how, how do you how do you like it man honest, honest opinion too if you don't like it it's all good just tell your honest opinion nah so literally being a hundred being a hundred percent being a hundred percent honest i def i def i definitely feel like the song if i had if i if i, if I had if i had to rate it out of 10 i would definitely go ahead and rate it at an eight primarily because conscious rap is more of you know what of what i'm of what i'm into you know like what like one of my favorite songs is slick rick children's story and you know that is literally a story about how a kid who got addicted to committing crimes and kept doing it over and over and over and where it landed him and just this, what you would literally think is a fictional dream, but it it happens to, to, to young folks where, you know, they get caught up, they get involved in, in doing things because they're making money. And then after that, they get locked up for a real long time and that dude was only 17 yeah. and so this fits more into this this fits more into kind of the genre that i lean more towards um i will i will say the shots that were the shots that were thrown i was like oh yeah it, it's fun it's funny however i wouldn't say that this song has too much replay value for me i think that if like listening to it now i would probably listen to it like maybe like one or two more times w within the within the week and then after that i, I would kind i would kind of let it i would kind of let it like chill off <laughs> yeah and and you know yeah. like come and like come back to it but yeah. all but all in all the the delivery the production like all of it was fantastic i, I was at, i was actually i was actually looking on i was actually looking on my phone right now because there's uh there's like a few there's a few songs that I was like, oh man, you know, I would love for him to like collaborate with Bizzle on. And so I was like, yeah, man, you know, that's kind of I, I was kind I was kind of looking for like if I if I if I had the opportunity um to potentially hear or listen yeah. to him collaborate with someone, I think I think that I would like for him to collaborate with the folks that got over money 
but that but that's how but that's how I felt. Yeah. Well, uh you you provided way more insight on it than I did my first time listening. <laughs> and I I uh, I paused it a few times. Hopefully I didn't mess up your immersion. I just wanted to hear your thoughts as we go. But uh that was, all, uh, baby. That was uh uh really 20 minutes ain't bad considering the circumstances. Really ain't bad of a video, so I appreciate you guys for watching. I know y'all like to see people's first time reaction. Uh, like I said, he knows a lot more about hip hop than I do, so I was like, dude, it'd be fun to have you on and react to a song with me. And we, if y'all like the video, let us know because uh, we might do some more of these and uh, yeah, just show him some love, Rashid. And uh, is there anything? Do you want to? plug anything you want me to put anything in the description or you want to uh, just just nah, you're man. just doing it for fun hey man I'm, I'm just i'm just doing it for fun you already know man all praise to the most high thank jehovah god for everything that he that he does for us we ask that you know just y'all remain blessed y'all remain positive y'all remain in good spirit and you know just just continue chasing the truth continue chasing what we all know to be just without a doubt the most the most important thing which it was just literally pursuing the kingdom and also making sure that we're taking the time to actually not only feed ourselves spiritually but also to get the good word out there to everyone so you know yep that's it and that's it it's all, it's all love i agree and if you're like me feed yourself physically too a little bit exactly. too much. <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but all right appreciate you guys for watching uh like i said this is the first time we've done two people so we we might do more of these just let us know and uh there's a lot of songs i want him to react to a few different songs that like, i want him to listen to canceled and then uh we can do some songs that i haven't heard too so 100%. And, anyways appreciate you guys for watching and uh peace peace